All right. Let's see. Pile of death bird. So, question. Are, are ravens and crows the goths of the animal world? Or the, the goths of the bird family? Yeah, I, I wish I could I could load up a previous save on my life quite a lot of times. I can think of a lot of parts of my life that I would like to go back to and redo differently. Alright, Kai, thanks for the confirmation on that. Ravens and crows, officially goth birds. I heard it here, we have a... We have a uh, member of the furry community officially confirming. Which makes Hugin and Moonen basically uh, the original Viking goths. This looks safe. Oh, hi. Oh shit. Go surround, please. Or do surround you while I'm spinning. It's your own death. That's your problem. Timing on that worked out rather nicely, actually. Oh, walked right into it. Hi. Um. Going to need to kill you. Item over here, I don't remember. I know, there, I know I can't get through this door, but yeah, there is an item. We'll grab that. God, that's a nasty ass attack. I forget what this pellet does. I'll have to check that in a minute. Ice blood pellet. Oh yeah, grants short-lived beasthood. I think that's uh, a damage boost or something like that. Never really used them though. over here. Oh, no, wait, I think this is where the ambush is. Yeah, I see you up there, asshole. Down here. Hit you in the ass with a pebble. Except I can't because something's blocking it. That's weird. Alright, never mind, I guess. I'll just... I'll just have to wait until you try to ambush me, then. Is now. Have some of that. Oh, wait. I will take your blood chart. This is the gothest part of town for sure. Ah! How about you? <laughs> ah, screw this. <laughs> Have some of that. 
That's Indiana Jones, that guy. I wanna scream and, and slather and throw your angry rabies spittle all over the place, and I'll just pull out a gun and shoot you. Dude. Just charging up an attack. How dare you hit me while I'm trying to murder you? Have you no manners? Heard that. My eyes on you. That's just a shortcut back down to out here where the giant ladder was. Love the fact that I can swing my axe through the wall to hit this guy. Sure, it makes an impact sound and some sparks fly off, but it still goes through the wall. Ethereal axe of beast slaying plus three. So we got a smoky uh, alleyway over here. And let's just see what's waiting for us in the rear end of it that we hear screaming at us. Why do I have a meter? Why, why am I poisoned? Ow. No. <laughs> Not so was no furry. You are absolutely correct, Kai. Alright, and now we have on the other end of the foggy alleyway one of these fuckers. Just waiting for somebody to walk into them. Also, if it seems like this axe is killing things rather easily, this is. This is the strongest damage per hit weapon in the game until, at least until you get to the expansion area, I believe. Or some of the later weapons, anyway. And it's easily the strongest beginning weapon, but also the slowest. So it's a little harder to use, but man, the results are brutal. Let's grab that in a second. I think there's supposed to there not a lantern here or it's just straight to the boss. Oh, yeah, there's the lantern. I think. Oh no, that's the summon. So we can summon Alfred to fight this boss with us. Maybe we should do that. I thought there was supposed to be a lantern before the boss though, but maybe there isn't. Alright, pro, pro tip kids, fire is hot. I've just scientifically confirmed this fact. Did 
do have some shortcuts back down here if we get killed. Oof. I'm risking a lot of on blood here though. I'd be very annoyed if I lose all this. Have any don't have the, the next I don't have the twin shards yet. <laughs> Fake news, fire is cold. I photoshopped that test. When you saw it burn me, that was faked. Fake news. Okay, should I risk fighting this thing? I don't know, maybe I can kick its ass with Alfred helping me. Alright, fuck it. Gonna need my antidotes of fire paper at the ready. Alright, Alfred, let's do this. I'll ring the bell. Dinner is served. Dinner is about to be us. Hey, buddy. Let's go kick some ass, shall we? Come on, buddy. Keep up. What a weird weapon he's got there. Fire is ice. Yep, pretty much. Who's here, Alfred? Doing the fight without you. By the way, that's not a, fl a cape flapping around. I'm pretty sure that's its own skin. Like a skin flap. Pretty gross. Oops. Right, too much. Let's get with the antidotes ready. This thing is going to poison the fuck out of me in a minute. Oh, I see he's wielding the Kirk Hammer. That's a cool weapon. Yeah, stay still. Stand still and let me murder you. Oh, visceral, nice. goes the poison mode. So in this mode the boss is constantly leaking poison. Just being near it will uh, will poison me. Of course we have to be near it to kill it, so that's the problem. Surprised I don't have my Oh there it is. Now it's in that mode. Poison. Antidote. Antidote. Alright, don't get killed. Her poison meter is going to go up just being near it now. God, this fight is chaos. Shit happening constantly. Come here. Come on. Come at us, bro.
Actually, I have no idea what gender you are, and I don't really care. Your gender is quartz. We'll be in a minute. Come on. Yeah, good job, Alfred. Good job. Whew. Man, that guy is a loud ass fight. Another sex while camping fight? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Murder friend is a nice guy. Yeah, he is. Alfred's cool. <laughs> oh, I see. Sex while camping fight. Fucking intense. <laughs> I like it. Accurate statement. First time I fought that thing, it was goddamn terrifying. That's a tactic from software likes to use. A lot of things in the Dark Souls games and Bloodborne game is... The reason it's so dangerous is because it... It's basically a mind game. It's, it's fucking with you. It's it's being big and scary and intimidating, but a lot of things like that boss are actually not as hard as they seem. It just seems that way because they're scaring the shit out of you while you're trying to fight them. Let's get some more gems in here. Physical attack up 1%, but HP continues to recover. Let's get us some regen. Wait a second. Well, we only have the one slot in here so far. Okay. That's why. Alright, so we're going to be doing 1.6% damage less, but we've got regen now. Very, very slow regen, but some. Uh, what could we sell? Sell some stuff that I'm not going to use, like this. 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 And... Torch. Clothes I'm not going to use anymore. Bloodstones I'm not going to use. Alright. And as promised, let's use up these, uh, these cold blood items. Basically it's a bunch of blood currency in an, uh, an item form. Crush the blood of my enemies in my hand. Let it shower over my face. Refreshing warm blood. Ah, beautiful. Welcome home, good hunter. What What's Alfred's story? Uh, he's basically a member of the uh, the healing church who is. Hunting with something called vile bloods, which is basically, well. uh, I think of like vampires in this, in this world. So he's essentially. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. 
It's essentially uh, Simon Belmont as, as a priest, more or less. I have a lot. I'm so glad I didn't lose all these blood echoes. Look at all this. Ten level ups in, in one go. That's silly. I would have been so pissed if I'd lost all that. I mean, some of it was inconceivable items, but still. May you find your worth in the waking world. Also, that weapon um, Alfred was using called a Kirk Hammer. We can buy it ourselves over here. Was it up? Is it here or up at the top? Yeah, it's this item here. Kirk Hammer. So it's a giant stone maul, but the ha the handle of the maul is a sheath for a longsword. So like every weapon in this game transforms between two modes. Like you see, my axe goes from hand axe to like double handed polearm axe. Kirk Hammer, you can go between hammer mode and sword mode by unsheathing or unsheathing the sword into the hilt. It's also a very sl slow weapon. But also one of the big smashy strength weapons. Okay, let's uh, back to the church here. And work our way back and try to get rid of that gun asshole. Uh, I don't know, Ayak, if I would say that Alfred is not half fish. I'm pretty sure he's partaken of the blood administration as well. Her camera, is it high, hugely over dramatic? Uh, it's, it's pretty dramatic, yeah. I've never really used it much, but I might grab one later. Try it out. I'm not going to have time to do it during today's stream, but... Maybe next time. Might grab it just to show off the moveset, if nothing else. Might even try using it for a while, but I am really happy with his axe. So I might just stick with the axe until late game, when, when the really crazy weapons come out. Suck it. Oh, that was somewhat disappointing. That's better. We've been doing a good chunk da more damage on it. It brings my strength by like five points. <laughs> One sixteenth fish on his mother's side. Yeah, kind of like that. We don't need to be on the antidote anymore. Hey! Come here, asshole. I'm gonna get the three damage to your ass. Oh, fuck. I thought he was gonna walk forward into that. Come on. Yeah, a cloaked figure in a dark alley. That's always a good sign, isn't it, Pretty? And trust cloaked figure. Not gonna do anything bad. Wait a second, wasn't there... Oh, our, our shortcut was back this way. Hey! Stop it! Look how floppy their bodies are, too. Oh, 
play with the corpses for a while. Nothing morbid about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Normally I'd be wanting to use a blood vial right now, but I'm going to let that regen help out for a little while. Oh, I didn't know you were here. There we go. Oftentimes we are the cloaked figure in the dark alleyway. True that. Let's not cloaked figure uh, shame people, okay? Let's not judge. Noise. Probably something invisible that I can't see because I don't have enough insight. There's creepy shit all around us, we just can't see it. Oh no, it's the choir. Okay, we're close enough to the choir. We don't need to mess with them, though. I'm here for is this ladder. Actually, I'm gonna need to blood vial soon, anyways. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this gunman. Or more likely, get killed by him. But this is why I didn't want to do it while I was carrying around a whole bunch of blood and not having a close by respawn point. Or at least a respawn point that's on the far side of his gun rather than on the business end of it. Your long ass ladder. At least it sort of makes sense to have this one. That's my roof, asshole. Fuck. One of those camping fights. Crap, I'm on the wrong side of him. I believe the only realistic way to kill this guy is to get him to fall off the roof. Seems to be inevitable because he has to roll around a lot. Unless I'm the one that rolls off the roof first. Stop it! I don't want bullets in me. Get off my roof! It's a little damage. So many times I've fought this guy before and he just dodge rolls off the roof. I don't know why he won't do it now. Ow. Don't explode me, you jerk. Oh my god. I'm gonna run out of blood here. I need to jump off the roof. The only time you'll hear me encourage somebody to jump off a roof is this asshole. 
A lot of healing. Oh god. Oh my god. Do you I see his health bar? You still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream, dream oh. I don't know why that guy is so heavily armored. He looks like he's just wearing robes. Or jacket or something. Oh, well. I think I'm going to have to cliffhanger it here for now. That fight took it out of me and I am... I am hungry right now. I am starving. I need to go get some food. Uh, it's almost 11 o'clock at night here. But, uh... Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, especially Pretty, th Pretty and Kai, thanks for showing up and uh, following. Much appreciated. I will be doing uh, some more of this at some point in the future. I don't know when yet, but actually, either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I will be doing another stream. Uh, that stream will be ukulele, uh, and I'll be I'll be doing more Bloodborne. I, like I said, I, I'm not 100% sure when, but I will I will let people know. Thanks, uh, and catch you later.